friends, my name is Ms. Jordan and I am the elementary coordinator here at Jerome Church. I am so glad that you have tuned in to this week's kids worship video. Are you ready to learn together? Do you like to go out to eat at a restaurant? Maybe you have a favorite pizza place or somewhere that has your favorite chicken nuggets. Or maybe you like to try new foods like sushi. When you go to a restaurant, the first thing you order is usually your drink. But what comes after you get your drink? The appetizers, of course. Last time we said that step one in our life with God is to trust God. Just like how appetizers come after getting our drinks. Today we're talking about what we can do after we make the choice to trust God. Today is step two, talking to God. Now we are going to read our Bible verses for today from Psalm 16. You can listen to me while I read or follow along with your own Bible. Go ahead and pause this video if you need to get your Bible. Ready? Let's read it together. My God, keep me safe. I go to you for safety. Say to the Lord, you are my Lord. Without you, I don't have anything that is good. I say about God's people who live in our land, they are the noble ones. I take great delight in them. Those who run after other gods will suffer more and more. I will not pour out offerings of blood to those gods. My lips will not speak their names. Lord, you are, you alone are everything I need. You make my life secure. I am very pleased with what you have given me. I am very happy with what I have received from you. I will praise the Lord. He gives me good advice. Even at night, my heart teaches me. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. He is at my right hand, so I will always be secure. So my heart is glad. Joy is on my tongue. My body also will be secure. You will not leave me in a place of the dead. You will not let your faithful one rot away. You always show me the path of life. You will fill me with joy when I am with you. You will, always, you will make me happy forever at your right hand. Now we are going to learn more about talking to God from our friends on today's episode of Grow TV. If you are one of our preschool friends, you can have someone help you jump ahead to today's episode of Callie's World, or just keep watching. Hey there, little chicken nuggets, and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Cooper. <laughs> welcome to Grow. Hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to TV. Alrighty, welcome back to Cooking with Cooper, and I, of course, am Cooper. <laughs> For the next few weeks, you'll be following me on my journey as I learn how to cook. <laughs> I accidentally told my friend Jada I knew how to cook. And so now <laughs> I am in charge of cooking for a mass amount of people at the end of the month. <laughs> so here's hoping I learn something. Now, last week we tried to cook a cake <laughs> and it did not turn out well. I feel like it was like somewhere between like a meatloaf and like a lawnmower. <laughs> but this week, we're gonna be cooking something kind of similar. Today, we're cooking pancakes. <laughs> That's right, the cake of the pan. Pancake. <laughs> you don't know what a pancake is, just like imagine like a waffle, like, but without the squares. <laughs> Makes sense? Perfect. <laughs> Now, today we only have like three ingredients, which is good because I can like only count to three. <laughs> I don't know what's past it. It's like one, two, three, toothbrush? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, our three ingredients today is pre-made pancake mix, 
water, and chocolate chips, my dude. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this griddle on and make sure it's very, very hot. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pour some of this batter in this bowl. There we go, there we go. I'm gonna take some water and throw it into that bowl with the batter mix. And then you're just gonna wanna stir it until it becomes like a texture like a, a muddy puddle in like the middle of July. <laughs> The next step is to add the chocolate chips, AKA cocoa raindrops. <laughs> I like to do the whole bag, my dudes. <laughs> Stir it around just a little bit. Now we are gonna throw this thing on the hot griddle, my dudes. Spray it down, make sure it doesn't stick. <laughs> hot griddle, there we do. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> nice. Now that one looks like it's ready to flip, but I'm not sure how to do that because I'm new at this cooking thing. So how am I supposed to flip this? Does the bag, does the bag say how to, it just says flip. Flip, how, with what? I, do I politely just ask the uh, pancake to flip? Dear pancake, can you like kindly like flip over please? Thank you. I don't, do I use mind control? Oh, nothing, that hurt my head. That's it, nothing is working, I'm giving up. Don't give up. Ah! 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 Hey, hey Cooper, what's got you so flustered? I don't wanna talk about it. Cooper, talk to me. I don't wanna. Cooper, spill it. Okay, fine, I just spent forever making my pancake batter and now I can't even flip it, I have no idea how. Don't you have a spatula? A spatty whaty? A spatula. It's a flat tool that helps you flip food. Do you have one? Is this it? No, that's a shoe. I is this it? That's the same shoe. This? Yes, that's a spatula. Now try and flip the pancake. All right. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'll try it. <laughs> Holy fruit juice. That was incredible. <laughs> I told you. Now, why did you not want to talk to me when I asked what was wrong? I don't know, Jid. I guess I thought I didn't need help. <laughs> oh, Cooper, don't ever be afraid to ask for help. Speaking of that, did you see the second step in the super duper recipe book? Oh, yes, the recipe book for all things good. Let me see. It's around here somewhere. Here it is. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, the second step says something about talking. Talking like talking to who? Talking to God? Of course. Now, do you remember the story of Hannah in 1 Samuel chapter 1? I think so, but I wouldn't mind hearing it again. Sure thing, Cooper. Well, there was a woman named Hannah, and she really wanted to be a mother. That's great. How many kids does she have? Well, zero. That is awful. Yeah, it's definitely a bummer. What makes it worse is that there were people that wouldn't make fun of her because she couldn't have kids. And that went on for years till one day, Hannah couldn't take it anymore. She traveled to the temple and began to do something very important. Can you guess what it was? So I don't know, start cleaning? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> She began to talk to God. She started to cry and pray to God that she would be able to have a kid. And while that was happening, a priest by the name of Eli walked into the temple and saw Hannah. What happened next? He saw Hannah crying and talking and he couldn't hear what she was saying. So he thought something was wrong with her. He was gonna kick her out of the temple, but then she told him she was praying. Oh, so she was like praying in her heart and not out loud. Got it, okay, cool. You got it. She prayed that if God would give her a son, that she would raise him to serve God in the temple, just like Eli did. And guess what? Did God give her a son? Yep. Well, not right away, obviously, but Eli told her to go home and to have peace because God would give her what she desired. Whoa, that's incredible. Why do you think God did that? Well, Cooper, just like you asked for help earlier and got it, the same is true in our relationship with God. If we need help, we shouldn't hesitate to talk to God and share what's on our heart. So God wants us to ask for anything we want? Absolutely, but that doesn't mean that we'll always get what we want. Sometimes God doesn't give us what we ask for because there might be something better in store. But talking to God is how we learn what God has planned for us. We won't know until we ask. 
<laughs> That's a good point. Thanks, Jada. All right, I'm going to make sure I get that one checked off. Step two, talk to God. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, my pancakes are burning. Hey there, everybody. Today's big idea is step two, talk to God. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. Step two, talk to God. Good job, everybody. Thanks for watching Grow TV. And remember, tune in next week to see what Cooper's cooking up. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow TV. Let's keep learning about talking to God with this week's episode of Callie's World. If you are one of our friends in elementary school, you can jump ahead to today's discussion questions and closing prayer, or just keep watching. Hey friends, guess what? It turns out I started learning how to cook and bake at just the right time. My school is having a bake sale to raise money for people that don't have enough to eat. That's what a bake sale is. It's when you sell yummy goodies that people baked and the money goes to help others. Remember our Bible story from last week? It's crazy that God is still using people to help other people. How about a yeah, God cheer? Ready? One, two, Three, yeah, God! Again! One, two, three, yeah, God! That was fun! So, for the bake sale, I decided not to bake. What I mean is, I made these delicious no-bake cookies. That's right, for these yummy cookies, you don't need an oven at all! you're forgetting something? Hmm, I'm about to be part of something really important and I hope goes really well. I really care a lot about it. I care so much that I feel like I need to talk to someone about it. But who? What do you guys think? What could I be forgetting? While I try to remember, let's check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story. Our story today is from 1 Samuel chapter 1, verses 4 to 20. And though our story comes from the book of Samuel, this story isn't about Samuel. This story took place way before Samuel was even born. It's about Samuel's mother, Hannah. For a long time, Hannah was very sad because she could not have a baby. To make matters even worse, some people even made fun of her just because she couldn't have a baby. Hannah was so upset by all of this that she didn't even want to eat. But Hannah trusted God, so she decided to take her sad situation straight to God. She prayed. She went into the sanctuary, which was where people went to pray, and she stayed there for a long time, crying and talking out loud to God. Hannah prayed so hard for so long that Eli, who was in charge of the sanctuary, thought Hannah wasn't feeling well. But Hannah told him that she wasn't sick or anything like that. She was just really sad. Eli understood and told Hannah that God was listening. Hannah went away feeling great and God heard her prayers and by the end of the year, she had a son. She named him Samuel, which means I ask God for him. Hannah's story reminds us that God wants to hear from us. So when we don't know what to do, 
Do you know what we can do? Step one, trust God. And then, step two, talk to God. Wasn't that Bible story so good? I'm so happy Hannah was able to have a baby after all. I'm still trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything for the bake sale. Can you help me? Okay, so I need to have cookies to sell at the bake sale. Do I have my cookies? Check! I need a sign for my table. Do you see the sign that I made? Check! What else? Oh, yeah! The money from the bake sale is going to help people that do not have enough to eat. I wish we could sell lots and lots of cookies so we could donate a lot of money. Who can help me with that? Talk to God! Oh my goodness! You're right! How could I forget step two? Talk to God! I should talk to God! I should pray about this bake sale. Will you pray with me? God, I really want this bake sale to go well so that a lot of people who don't have enough to eat can be helped. Oh, and it would be cool if people love my cookies too. Thank you, God, for listening. Amen. Wow, I feel better. I'm ready to rock this bake sale. Peace out, friends. Now, I want you to talk with someone else in your house about these questions. You can pause the video while you talk, but be sure to come back so that we can pray together and practice this week's memory verse. Our first question this week is, do you think God hears your prayers? Our second question is, why do you think God wants us to pray? Go ahead and pause the video while you discuss. I'll wait for you. It's been so fun learning with you about how we can trust God. Let's take time now to pray together. When we pray, let's put our hands together, close our eyes, and bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for being so easy to talk to. You never stop listening to us. Help us remember that we can talk to you anytime, anywhere, and about anything. Amen. Before I go today, let's practice this month's memory verse together from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. Let's say it together. For we are God's handiwork, created in, G in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared us in advance for us to do. Ephesians 2 verse 10 For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Thank you, friend, for spending time with me today. We can't wait to see you next week as we learn about step three in our recipe, listening to God. Goodbye, friends.